Alrighty, so I had originally shared this on my Instagram and so many people responded positively to it that I thought I would show a quick tutorial on my YouTube channel as well for other people to access. So this is a quick tutorial on how to get around the issue of Google Forms, Google Translating, all of your documents so that if you teach a foreign language, your students can have the form immediately translated for them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if we go up here to the preview button, you can see that the first thing that happens is it offers you to Google Translate the document. And if I click on English, it will now Google Translate all of the questions that I'm asking my students to complete, which is not ideal because it makes my homework extremely easy. And I want my students to be able to achieve this in the target language. So we have a workaround um, that we can do to get through this. It is a little bit of extra steps, but I think that the payout is more than worth it. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna click off of the question and then you're gonna take a screenshot of the question. So every computer has a way to screenshot your desktop um, and you can crop it or from specifically Mac users, which is what I'm more geared toward because I use Macs, um, you can do uh, command shift four and that is gonna do this little cross hatch as your cursor and you're gonna use that and just select the area that you wanna take a photo of and when you release your cursor, it's gonna save that screenshot onto your desktop. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the question. And over here on the right-hand side, there's a little image button. So we're gonna click that. And it's gonna allow us to upload the screenshot that we just created. So here it is. And once that uploads, it will be inserted. And so now when we go back into the preview, we can see there is the same question as before, but when I translate to English, all of the other questions translate, but this one does not because it is not a text, it is an image. And so that is a quick little workaround that just took me like 30 seconds to solve this issue. And so now my students will not be able to immediately Google Translate. Could they word for word type this into Google Translate? Of course they can, but it's a lot harder because they can also not select and copy this into Google Translate because it's an image. So I hope that helps you if you are a language teacher because we want our kids to learn the target language and we want them to understand the material without Google Translate because I don't know about you, but Google Translate is strictly forbidden in my classroom. So if you like that, um, please give a like and subscribe to my channel and take a look at my other tutorial videos for more information to help you work smarter and not harder in the classroom.